Hello, this is Stephen Harris, a head trader from Falcon Global, where we practice best practices for investors, traders, and day traders from entry to exit. In the daily video, I provide my opinion and insights of current market trends, market timing, volatility, and risk levels for the upcoming day in key U.S. financial markets. It is currently 7.49 Central Time, and I'm recording this in preparation for the market trading day of December the 26th, 2014. Full disclaimers are at the end of the video, but be aware that this is for educational purposes only, and only you are responsible for the investing and trading decisions that you make. So let's dive into some of the key highlights of today's report. Uh, no futures rollovers this week to be concerned about, so nothing to get excited about there. In terms of our market trend, uh, right now we believe we are in phase three and still there, bull flag, bull flat, starting to get higher highs, higher lows, and um, uh, that's our current condition. In terms of the portfolio trader posture, we are a bit of a divergence here, uptrend under pressure. For the active trader market posture, it is okay to take intermediate term bullish trades and short term bullish trades. But note that we have this divergence, so this is very important. Um, we have some conflicting opinion um, coming into our, um, our postures with the market posture saying very bullish and portfolio posture saying uptrend under pressure. In terms of position sizing, Again, that conflict, but um, uh, with the VIX, uh, where it is uh, currently 75 to 100% of full position size would be called for. And yet, of course, with the uh, portfolio posture under pressure, that would call for 0 to 25. So again, some conflict coming in here. So that should be given as a warning sign to be very careful with the initiation of new positions at this time. And our market timing opinion, uh, our one-day outlook is slightly bullish. Our three-day outlook is also slightly bullish. Again, you have uh, very, very high seasonality um, uh, wind coming to your back. So this is very helpful with this time of year. Obviously, with low volume, uh, anything can happen. Not a lot of market participation going on right now. Uh, all four indices on the market forecast are very bullish. And indeed, uh, three of the four indices are in the upper zone. So um, from that aspect, everything is all go. Our hedge warning status has um, recently come down from level two to level one, which is our break or yellow light. Uh, many of the warning signs that would elevate risk levels have been removed. The primary one that still remains is this market um, uh, under stress. Uh, condition and I actually have market and correction here that isn't correct I need to update that but it's uptrend under pressure is still in play so that's the the primary thing that's still in play um, we do have on our intermediate trend a new higher high on the SPX and the Russell so um, those are uh, certainly behaving NDX still has not put in a higher high and this is a warning because um, normally in strong bullish trends, the NDX would lead the S&P, and that is not the case at this point with this, this most current recovery. So um, we also have a significant number of distribution days. S&P has six distribution days. NASDAQ has seven, including five in the month of December. So again, um, part of the reason why we have this uptrend under pressure condition in play and, um, and still uh, going forward uh, is a risk element. Uh, our VIX phase is trending down, so things are improving from that aspect. So uh, in general, uh, we've rolled this up to hedge warning level status one, level one. Uh, option income strategies based on the VIX, we are within the volatility window, so we are conducive to option income strategies at this point. On our morning report, our overnight action um, in the U.S. futures markets, very quiet as you would expect. Perhaps the, the one with the most action um, was gold up 1.95%. 
and um, crude oil was up 0.75 percent so some of our commodities are moving but indexes are very 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 quiet uh, in terms of uh, overseas markets uh, Shanghai obviously they didn't have Christmas uh, they were up 2.78 percent very high but the DAX up 0.57 uh, really nothing else to mention there there are no macroeconomic reports today it is a bank holiday and um, so for many many markets uh, it's going to be low participation so that's the primary thing to be aware of if you're doing any trading today from a volatility standpoint obviously we've quietened down this week after quite a bit of volatility across all four indexes last week so um, uh, pretty much as expected at this point. As always, uh, we welcome your liking us and following us on social media, as well as do note our blog page. Uh, but we do participate in Twitter, Facebook, Stock Twits, Scootify, and of course, you're here on YouTube. A um, couple things to keep in mind. Obviously, we model our practices across our three live trading rooms each day equities and ETFs the second room is options and the third room is futures um, so certainly welcome you coming in there we do have free trials available to each of those live trading rooms and more information can be found here at um, at these addresses disclaimers And we greatly appreciate your listening to us, and we look forward to um, uh, providing the next daily report for you on Monday morning. Thank you.